YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Concise the Barber, and in this video, I am going to show you guys how you modify the Bevel All Black Second Editions. The things that you will need is, of course, the trimmer. You will need the one minute blade modifier. You will need a hex screw. This is the 1 16th, uh, that's the size that you will need, and also you will need some clipper oil. So let's get into this. I'm gonna move this stuff away. Stuff away. And uh, the first thing you need to do is to remove the blade from bevel from the bevel trimmer, which is so easy to do. You just pop it off, make sure you use two hands. And then from that, you look at the blade and you will see two screws that you'll need to, to unscrew to modify this blade. So like I said before, you need the 1 16th, uh, the hex key for this and uh, you will just start unscrewing these blades. Now also notice how I do hold the blade when I do it um, because you will see that it can like pop off if, uh, if you're not uh, holding it down right. Lighten up, I mean you unscrew both sides just a little bit and then from there hold it down and take one out at a time make sure you're using a towel because uh, you don't want the screws to be uh, rolling all over the place that's why I usually use a towel every time that I do a certain modification Okay, now that's done, uh, there's sections of this. First you take off the spring and the black piece that attaches the spring, and you just wanna put that to the side. Now, this is uh, kinda simple. You think it looks like a lot, but once you lighten up this that hook part, the whole thing can come off all at one assembly. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit, and then we're gonna modify it. Now, I was kind of surprised that the bevel, the blade was able to use the one minute blade modifier. Of course, um, when you look at the instructions on the one minute blade modifier, the bevel's not on there. However, the, the blade does fit the groove, so you'll be good to go. And then right here, I put the oil in the middle, let it spread, let it spread you know, from the both sides. Put the blade on and make sure you do this for at least 30 to 45 seconds. Check your blade every now and then, clean it off. And since I've uh, I already modified it before, I didn't you know do it for too long. I just wanted to show you guys you know the steps of how to do it. So now let's put the blade back. Remember how I took it off at one assembly? I put it back all at the same time. And then you'll have the spring. Make sure that is on correct. Uh, you'll definitely know because it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't fit on the right on like the right way. But make sure you fit it on correct. And that nozzle where you spin the blade to to move it up and down, that's where that black piece goes. There's like a hole that you have to fit that in. And once you've done that, you get the screws and you put it back in and make sure you press the, that tension down so it's nice and tight. And make sure your blade looks good. Screw, screw it uh Roll it all the way down and then roll it all the way up. And I'm showing you right here how close it's going to get. And as you can see, it is basically zero gap. Get the blade, snap it back on, and then boom, there you go. That's how I modified my, uh, my bevels. And since the fact that, you know, they made it so simple for the blade to come off, this, uh, it, it, it doesn't have to take you so long. It's not that really hard to do. 
But um, I did want to give you guys this information. So please subscribe, give me a like, and I have more coming for y'all. Thank you. God bless.